I guess that, yeah, I guess that could be useful. Alright, well, uh... Yeah, cha change fairy type. Yeah, I guess if we're running to certain types of energy, I shift, I shift fairy type, and then that's... <laughs> Alright, uh -huh. uh, let's, let's head down and practice. Alright! The only other thing I could think of is how you deal with, like... I don't know what you would call it. Is it... I don't know if you call it overload stuff or what. I don't know how what you call that kind of stuff. Like, you can make things and stuff and dealing with that kind of stuff. I don't know what you even call it. Overload stuff sounds pretty appropriate. I guess. Oh yeah, let's just practice. Because that stuff I definitely need some advice on. Without being like... A dark Makai Overlord kind of stuff, because, like, I got a couple things under my care now. I don't think it counts the same way, but if I'm going to save the world, I might need to know how to do that kind of stuff. I don't know. All right. Uh, it's time to uh, it's time to start picking up some new techniques. Uh, we will start with Dragomir. Let me get my dice back out. I got the right ones this time. Woohoo. Oh man, it's it's mangle time. Yep. All right. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's just rude. That is just rude. <laughs> what does that even count as? <laughs> what does that count as? They're both at, <clears throat> both land at an angle against the cords. <laughs> Sounds like an imaginary number to me. It's the Faye thing, I guess. <laughs> and the okay, tenable stuff. <laughs> um, okay, I. All right. The technique. One of the techniques I want Tiana to teach Dragomir is uh, just being able to prep up a quick uh, cursed potion to. To uh, impair people, mm -hmm. like either impaired or impaired and trapped or something like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, just yeah, to do that. Does that sound like advance and attack to you guys? That sounds like hinder, doesn't it? Uh, so the the, the three right. different categories. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe that could be evade and observe. The hinder and stuff, yeah, because you're hindering an enemy with it. Yeah. Bolster or hinder. Uh. Yeah, because you could probably use that face stuff to buff or debuff. <laughs> Depending on how you use it, maybe. I don't know. I am absolutely not an expert on face things, so... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that would be an awkward fey form. Oh no, let's not go with that. That's right, unicorns are fey, aren't they? <laughs> unicorns uh, are celestials. They're celestials, okay. Uh. I, I think they used to be fey at like second ed or something, yeah. I don't really... It's, I was gonna be like, no! Goats. I mean, Bastion has that goat thing now over here after stuff happened, but Goats. uh... It's not well technically goat. Not like not like Skidoo or Go to Go Goat, no, it's <laughs> goat. <laughs> goat oh. monster. Are you gonna turn into a goat dragon or something? No. <laughs> but I mean kind of that's what they are almost, I guess. I mean the first thing that that reminds me uh, in this water section is the freeze blood. Still looking around, though. Okay. Curses, changes. I mean, technically, I, did, I don't know. Fate stuff does a lot of prankish things. So I was thinking you could probably do it buff or debuff. That's why it fits that maneuver thing or whatever. Yeah, buff would be kind of... Uh, make them lucky or something. Uh -huh. Under. 
inflicting an appropriate status. Someone's about to get hit with something blunt and plush him up, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't see the plushified status in this section of negative statuses. Yeah. <laughs> I, I we have to... Have forgotten. Yeah, we have to wing it, I think. Okay, uh... Alright, then. Um, I've, got, I've got the description. I will link it later, but first we should see how easy it... Uh, first we should see how easy it is for Dragomir to learn these techniques. So... Alright. Where is... Bah! Okay. No! Mm -hmm. Trying to. Okay, is your balance in line with your center or are you free of conditions? I think that's a yes right now. Is my balance in line with. Yes, yes, I think Do so. Do you and your teacher share at least one background? You were. I have outlaw and wilderness, so I think yeah. so. Uh, yeah, Tiana's uh, kind of wilderness. Alright, does your teacher agree with your reasons for training and learning? Uh, probably. Is a technique easy to grasp based on your current training, experience, and skills? Uh, I mean, uh, it's just a new way to make potions, so yes, okay, so... Uh, you would take plus two to the training move, so roll with the plus two. Okay, I'm rolling. Okay, I rolled a 9, plus 2 is 11. Okay, uh, this is really easy for you to pick up. Uh, also, also, uh, while train, uh, Tiana also was, well, Tiana advise, is advising you to, uh, to be more confident in your own abilities, because, uh, you got some pr you got some uh, big potential and you're pretty powerful. So, do you want to shift your balance toward confidence? Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. If so I'm shifting my center or am I your balance? Uh, okay. Um She is, Tiana is a strong believer in taking bold action. Fortune favors the bold. Alright, uh, so that's one technique learned. Uh... Okay, roll with plus one for the other technique. Okay. I rolled a nine. So that's plus one is ten. All right. This is this is much harder for you to pick up. Tiana is trying to teach you how to channel the Thay magic into the, some kind of. A sparkly lightning blast. Yeah, I, I would say so. It'd be difficult to pick up. Like no. All right, let me. Th no, not much uh, background in this in this information.
All right. So yeah, um So it feels so it feels like Tiana is almost ready to take back what she said about you having potential. It's uh, pretty frustrating for both of you. You can either it takes some time to cool down or mark two conditions of your choice. While you are making that decision... Oh, right, uh, I need to actually write down the, the thing. Alright, Eldritch Blast. I could just copy the lightning bolt description for this. First thing to open this wonderful set. And this other book here. Okay, that's uh, that's simple enough to just copy in. Can't even remember the name of that monster. I'd have to look through all my D and D third ed books. There we go. There was a fae that was a uh, like kind of like a bear wolf mix thing. Huh. I forgot the name of it though. Okay, Dragomir, I am going to uh, drop two techniques on you here in the text chat. Hmm. <laughs> All right, you have you have learned each of these, but uh, yeah, learning Eldritch Blast has, is uh, and pretty, difficult. Pretty, yeah, pretty frustrating. Oh, mastery condition for Eldritch Blast. Okay, I got one. Okay, this is going to this is going to be your mastery condition for Eldritch Blast. Tiana tells you uh, if you want to get in the right mindset to master Cursed Bomb, you need to understand exactly how uh, these curses work. So you should try inflicting a curse on yourself and using it to overcome a major threat. For Eldritch Blast, uh, she wants you to she wants you to understand the Fae mindset of uh, protecting what belongs to you. So she wants you 
So you should use Eldritch Blast to collapse Mineshaft Echo. All right, now for uh, now for Bastion's techniques. Uh, this Bastion, uh, you are going to be learning better, faster, stronger. Okay. Once I uh, once I copy the uh, once I copy the description because. Uh, Actually, let's see. Uh, maybe there's. Yeah, actually. Uh, hmm. So she is going to. So you are going to discover how to uh, how to shift your keyblade into a new form, but uh, it's going to <clears throat> it's going to be a keyblade that you build together with Tiana. Okay. Yeah. So it's. Like, it's gonna be, a, like, a fairy Sylveon-themed Keyblade, so what do you think uh, would be a good alternate form for that? I guess, well, I guess that's one way to learn how to shift your Keyblades a bit, but, uh... Maybe... Oh! Oh! Maybe a, uh, maybe, like, a, a Templar sword, like, a that looks like a Sylveon ribbon or something. Oh, you mean, like, a... Uh... The Risa uses and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, that can work. Okay. Uh, Alright, so you are going to learn the technique Entangler. Entangler? Yeah. Yeah, because... Trying to think of even other... Uh, the only thing Feywise, magic-wise, that doesn't fit with, like, Dragomir's getting is, like, some druid magics. <laughs> That's so different than Fey, but the Fey no druid stuff. Darn, I can't remember the name of the stupid. Was it Moon Dog? Something it was like a bear dog thing. I don't remember the name of it. Ah, oh. the Moon Bear. How did I get here? The end. All right, so Bastion. Uh... Oh no, Moon Dogs are Celestials. Where was this thing? Okay, is your balance in line with your center, or are you free of conditions? Yes. Yes. Do you and Tiana share at least one background? Yeah. Does Tiana oh, agree with your reasons for training and learning? Yes. Is the technique easy to grasp? For Keyblade stuff? Probably. I don't know. All right. Considering so... he's got strong imagination and tenable stuff and been using that if it's yeah. tied to okay, that. Okay, so uh, you are going to be rolling with a plus two. Two with what? Plus two. Just plus two? Just plus two. Alright, it's gonna be an eight. Eight? Alright, so uh... Yeah, it seems like Tiana is quite the impatient teacher and uh, she ends up yelling at you a lot so uh can either uh, can either take the rest of the day to cool down and continue learning or just push through it and mark two conditions considering it's bashing he's gonna push through it <laughs> all right uh so which conditions he's... which two conditions do you want to mark oh geez i don't know these are like, angry fits, but I don't know about the other ones. Huh. So, the list I see yeah, well, is afraid, angry, guilty, insecure, and troubled. Yeah, like, Tiana... I mean, how would you... I mean, how would you feel about his teacher that just flies off the handle when you don't get something right away? I'd be angry? Yeah. I mean, that's one. I wouldn't be afraid, though. I'd be more pissed at him than anything. What about insecure? Insecure. 
I don't know. You don't know. Hmm. Insecure is kind of. I mean, it, I don't know. Some of these don't always fit into everything. Yeah. Fashion really isn't insecure about his training. He picked up a lot of stuff, but uh, huh. Trying to think. They're definitely angry, but two conditions is. Yeah, they really need a bit wider list of conditions. That's <laughs> the fit some of this. Hmm. Definitely isn't a good way to endear Tiana to anybody. <laughs> well, uh, what this really means is Tiana is not exactly cut out to be a teacher. You could be troubled. Seek guidance from a mentor or a powerful figure. You know, I, the only thing I could possibly think of is insecure, but that doesn't really fit Bastion either, but it's the only con other condition that would fit anything. Because again, it's like a... I don't know. The condition stuff is still really wonky sometimes, so... Mm. It, it, there are t it's not nuanced enough to cover everything. <laughs> Mastery condition for Entangler. I guess insecure with the relationship with Tiana, if she's acting like that, that's one way to look at it, maybe. Because if you have a friend suddenly treating you like that, that's definitely a way to question things. <laughs> I mean, Tiana, Tiana is pretty mad both at you and at herself, but uh, it seems like she's trying to encourage you to uh, be much more direct about, about solving problems. So do you want to shift your balance toward action? Much more direct about solving problems? Yeah. I mean, he's being pretty direct about solving problems lately, to begin with. I mean, he can't... <coughs> he teleported right here. He grabbed frickin' Valo stuff out of the thing. Alright, yeah, shift your Valo I mean, sword action. I guess, yeah. Tiana ends up taking out on strawberries for uh, for a while. Uh, once she's had some time to cool down, she comes back. She comes back to you, Bastion, and uh, let's see.
Uh, you know what? Uh... Mm, no. Oh well, no. How, how does that fit with any? That doesn't fit with anything. I don't even know what you're <laughs> thinking of. The... Well, we're talking about a mastery condition for uh, learning to change the shape of your keyblade. Uh, well, maybe she ad maybe she admits to you that uh, she's not really cut out to be a teacher, and uh, maybe you should learn from you should learn from somebody else, uh, somebody who's different from her. A mastery condition is to learn from somebody different yeah. or skilled. Okay, find some find somebody who believe that. Find somebody who believes in forgiveness instead of action and learn from them. Okay. Because if your heart is not stable and balanced, then you won't be able to control your keyblade very well. You're not sure. Uh, you're not sure whether she realizes that, but that's the impression you get. Right. Dragomir is, yeah, Dragomir is going to be busy training with it. Uh, actually, I never did get your answer, Dragomir. Do you want to, you want to take a break from training or push through and mark two conditions? Break. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah. Alright, Bastion, you're gonna be on your own for a while then, while Dragomir is still training. Alright, is the shifting fairy type just the normal thing that doesn't require the training stuff, or what? Hmm. I mean, te I don't know if Tenable can shift that around anyway, or the tentacle stuff can shift that around anyways, but... Let me see if I can, let me see if I can find an appropriate... Because uh... it doesn't seem like it's something that really applies to much other than fluff, really. At this point, because we're well, not running could... fifth ed. So Bastion doesn't really have. Bastion only has two Pokemon forms at the moment, so. <laughs> His normal Lucario and the Charizard. Oh no, he's got the Spider, I guess, but that's about it. Got somebody being very rude in the chat right now. What, a, a spam bot again? I don't know about spam bot, but uh, just being very rude. Oh jeez! It, it was an account that was created one hour ago. So, um, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh bear! Yeah, I found the other creature. It's Bearhound. It's basically Bearhound. It's basically just a wolf dog or a bear. There are Fey bears. Unicorns do live in the Fey realms of all silly things. Hmm. It's a third edition only thing. They are Sylvan, so yeah, they're Fey. They're basically just... They don't really have much in the way of uh, special abilities. They're just basically bear dogs that are... Or bear wolves that are intelligent. <laughs> Let's see. Bastion, do you know... Alright, Bastion. Uh, the other technique you are going to learn is switch it up. Switch it up? Yeah. Like, you know, chain... Like you know, changing your uh, it, changing your type. Oh, that that could be. To, hey, yeah, learning yeah, change that your that type could be... to throw an enemy off balance. Oh, that would be like, catch an enemy off guard rather. Hey, then picking up more Pokemon forms could be handy to switch the types around then. Because <laughs> right now he doesn't have a lot of them, but that would definitely help. Actually, yeah, that fits with the fighting style he's trying to make with the Tenable stuff, even though it's uh. He was trying to do it with tentacle stuff, but I guess this is one way to get it through tentacle stuff too, kind of. <laughs> Mastery condition.
I don't know what would be a good mastery condition for that. Yeah, I know the types he has access to right now are fairy, electric, steel, and fighting. Oh, fire, I guess. Dra oh, dra oh, dragon is probably everywhere. <laughs> There's no skido or leafy on the pole plant from or anything. Uh, you should get the, the rubber plant data. The, I already have rubber stuff. <laughs> I could grab the, the plant stuff, sure. Right. And add more to my repertoire of that stuff. Okay, so uh, Tia uh, Tiana tells you she's going to be busy training Dragomir for a while, and if you want to, if you want to master your uh, your new pixelate ability right, uh, right away, uh, first of all, you need to practice it in actual combat. But secondly, you should uh, you should get in tune with like the Fey energies and stuff. She doesn't really do a good job of describing it, but she wants you to carry around some of the some of the fairy spring water and uh, deliver it to the different settlements throughout Assassin Fress. There are five. What? Huh? Is that the cursed water? Not the cur. It's not cursed anymore. Oh. When do we have time to do that? That's all. I don't know if we have time to do that. There are shortcuts. It'll be fine. Besides, I'm busy training Dragon here, still. So. Fine. I'll go do that. And if I can, if the Ten of All will let me, I'll go Sylveon form if you want to help connect with the Fae. Cause, or I can try to connect more with the Tanuki thing from that I feel. I don't know. Yeah. E whichever one you think would be best, I'll do either. Yeah, alright. That didn't really answer the question, but okay. <laughs> I guess Sylveon works, if that's what you think. Sylveon, I'll try to pull off the Tanuki, either one. Alright, have more confidence in yourself. Just have some patience. You can teach just fine. Just be patient. Come on, we made, oh, we made it all the way to, like, the champion... Like... Pokemon Championship. We would have been world champions. If you weren't good at that kind of stuff, we would have never made it that far. It was because of you. Have confidence in yourself. I know, like, leading people is hard and stuff. And I gotta learn how to do that, too, but... Come on. I know you yelled at me, and it kind of sucked, but... Hey. I'll get over it. It'll be okay. You just... Alright, uh... Well, since you're gui since you are guiding and comforting Tiana, the you're going to roll with harmony minus two because you're angry. With harmony. <laughs> okay, it's another eight. All right. Oh wait, no, that's. Uh, no, wait, wait yeah. that's right. Harmony minus two, not just minus two, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, it's a 10. It's a 10, okay. Okay. Alright, well, uh, your words seem to have gotten through to Tiana, and she seems to cool down a bit. Uh, Oof. Uh, Ouch. Stop that, think, Oreo! Do you think Bastion would have a good feel for what Tiana's guiding principle mm -hmm. is at this point? Yeah, I think... Yeah. All right. So, do you want to shift her more? Uh, do you want to shift her balance the higher toward action or lower? Hmm. I don't know what the other side of her thing is. No way for action is. Uh, most NPCs don't have another side. Oh. Considering what she she seems to jump to re, to action and reaction quickly, I think she needs to lay off a little bit instead of super actiony. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Unless it's in regard to like training specifically, but like she seems to like curse first, ask, ask questions later, which is seems like too much action. Hmm. Stop and think first, and don't get frust. Yeah, she needs to stop and think and not get frustrated and take a breath and stuff and have more confidence in herself introspective instead of just pushing 
At least that's the best way I could think of it. I don't know. <laughs> Reflective. Yes. Take a moment to breathe. And have confidence okay. in yourself. Okay. I'm sorry for... Sorry for blowing up at you before. I bet you're under a lot of stress with all the war stuff and people trying to evade and... I mean, you've been here, but... I don't know. I don't know how, uh... Yeah, you have a lot of people around, but I don't know how, like, lonely or not lonely and stuff you are. But I'm always just a teleport away, especially now, so... Hey! I'm gonna go do this thing you told me to do. And you know what? I'll take the Sylvia form that you gave me. And... Wait, go around! Hold up. Yeah. Before you do that... She reaches out with her ribbons and pulls you in for a big hug. Mm -hmm. Uh, tentacle hug back, I guess. <laughs> it's All close right. enough to a Sylveon hug. <laughs> Alright, you can cl you can clear a condition or two fatigue now. I'll clear a condition. Alright. Um... Shoot. Well, I think the most appropriate condition to clear is probably angry at this point. Alright, you are no longer angry. Hey, although insecure, which is kind of silly, still silly, but whatever. I mean, you still gotta worry about friendships when that happens, I guess. So, time to go try Sylveon form, at least, to go out and do this while Dragon is doing right. stuff. Uh... Your first attempt comes out looking a little girly. Uh, you're gonna have to work on that a little bit. Girly? What the heck? Uh, why is it girly? This isn't normal. Sylveons what? are just naturally inclined to be that way. Uh, well, <laughs> naturally inclined to look that way. I mean, it, if they're pink, I guess. The blue <laughs> ones aren't. Fashion doesn't want to do the pink one. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, you coming out pink at first gets a laugh out of Tiana. Uh, you're able to correct your color pretty quickly, though. All right. Is it still trying to shift back tenable, or? Hmm. Or I'm gonna am I am I gonna have to like concentrate the whole time we're doing this? <laughs> I guess that's I don't know. <laughs> Bring Snoop. Old meaning to the words roll with concentration. Hmm. Alright, yeah. Roll with focus again. Jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, that's not gonna work. That was a four. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, the, Syl the Sylveon stuff doesn't quite turn out. It doesn't quite work out. You just end up with ball of ribbons. Ah! <laughs> That's what happened. That's this. I was thrown off by the pink. It's okay, Bastion. I can try the to draw the Tanuki stuff out instead. This Tenable stuff is super Don't weird. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Just go. You I guess. Been home in a, you haven't been home in a long time, right? Me? Uh, I was just well, back the, home. Uh, well, oh, the Cat home, Village. The Lucario Village. No, I haven't. Go! Go say hi to everybody! Are they part of Sass? Is the Lucario food at least part of Sass? Are they outside us, Doctor? <clears throat> they're in the... They're in the Fyfenberg Mountains, uh, up in the northwest. Yeah, I don't know where things ended up, because we were kind of, like, not part of anything before, so... Alright. Well, it's just gonna be weird showing up like this, but okay. I'll keep trying along the way. I'll, I'll get this water distributed. You do you. You can do this. Oh, jeez. Ball of ribbons go. Uh, <laughs> as long as they're not pink. Hmm. I don't need to show... I don't need to shift into a... I don't need to shift out girl because <laughs> they'll be on here. Oi. No, oh, Bastion right. will still keep trying to get the form out. Maybe. 
All right, uh, Bastion, here are your new techniques. He has completed his mastery condition. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, it's evening by the time it's evening by the time Bastion gets back, and Dragomir has completed his training. But Dragomir, uh, you are able to Eldritch Blast now, and that is pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Tiana tells you you should, uh, Tiana tells you uh, in order to master the potions, you should inflict a curse on yourself and use it to do something cool, overcome a major threat. To master Eldritch Blast, you should, you, uh, you should use it to collapse Mineshaft Echo. You know, once you've gotten everybody out, I guess. It, it, order ordering matters, I think. <laughs> I mean, you could collapse one. You could collapse one side of it and just leave them on this side. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, wait, that would just cause more problems, wouldn't it? I'll do the thing and take the rubber plant stuff if I gotta. I already have rubber things, so I'll just. It, I. It'll probably be. If easy enough to fit him with there. Alright. I already let Tomion know you were coming, so, uh... Let me, uh... Let me mark the location of the... Yeah, let me mark where I think this mine is and where he is. Uh, she... She just makes a mark on your, uh... On your map of the Assassin for S area. It's not too far away from Thurin Village. Should be able to make it there pretty quickly, even without a shortcut. I'm glad I know where the Lucario Village is now, so I can, if I need to start by making way, territory... Uh, I... By the way, even even Tentabald, all of the other Lucarios were very happy to see you. Yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> it's been forever. Wait, does that mean... Uh, it, it, like Lunas from here is here too, or is he with Lunas now? Uh, he is. He is part of the other Lunas now. Okay. Yeah, it's good to see him. And now, if I need to expand territory, I have uh, a starting point. <laughs> yeah. Along the uh, yeah. While you're talking to everybody, uh, uh your uncle Lucas comes to mind as uh, somebody who. Uh, well, the kind, the kind of teacher that uh, Tiana was talking about. Uh, you've got a, you've got a job to do right now that uh, you could come back and listen to him later. I'll come back and listen to him later. Yeah, we got stuff to do, and I now know where home is. I can tell him go home and have a place to expand from and stuff. Yeah, if I need to. Yep. It's on the border with Spalone, by the way. Or close to the border with Spalone. It's on those northwest mountains. Spalone is where the Spalone is the the, the Strasburg area. Or... That is oh, great. That is the name of Strasburg's kingdom. Yeah, no way am I letting this place become a hovel. <laughs> I will whoop Strasburg's ass before he tries that. Well, that doesn't sound very forgiving. <laughs> it is forgiving with a fist. I mean, some. I mean, if he well, if he made it a hobble, then that's definitely not a. For, I mean, it, it was kicking his ass, not killing him. So, it, it is giving with a fist, not forgiving so much. Alright, um... Okay, I need to engage biology again and probably refill my water too, so... Another break! The perpetrator needs karma to hit them first before you can forgive them. 
Even if you're the one beating the karma into them in the first place before you can forgive. <laughs> it's the forgiveness hammer! Sure it hurts! <laughs> and it's very blunt. But, uh... You're getting the message of forgiveness. Squeak. Squeak. Is there a squeak, Katie? Don't you squeak, Katie? Mm. No. And she doesn't want to squeak. She just purrs. She just purrs. Hi. I need to go refill my drink, too. I know, naked butt. Naked butt. Actually, let me see. I need to... Oh, it's not it's in here. You have an entire month to two weeks before your next steroid injections. So, so yes. If you see her naked butt, it's because she's an allergy, special needs kitty. Her next injection comes in February. So, don't worry about her if you see the naked butt. I'll be right back at break. Hi! Can you not go outside? Okay, hurry up. Who knocked the Eevee out of the tree? Somebody knocked Eevee out of the tree. 
I'm guessing that was Lakota who knocked Evie out of the tree. All right, I'm back. Okay, I got to change up the music here. All righty. Hmm, yeah, the only thing that's not Faye that Faye you knows, like I said, is Druid stuff, which I, Druid stuff is kind of neat, but I don't know. Hmm. Just means now with the change up, we need to get more Pokemon forms to be able to change hmm. more types. Fair this would make him. Hard. Yep, this would make him the second to. Oh no, Bastion's the origin of terrestrialization. Although, Reich was the one who originally could do that stuff, but... Well, not terrestrialize, but that was plate stuff. Yay! All right, let's see here. I think a coffin would be a pretty good change-up. Your opponent comes lunging into you, and suddenly you become really smelly. Well, oh, I thought you said coffin. It was like coughing. Okay. I was like, wait, what? Why do I want to be a coffin? This isn't Dragon Quest. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, ghost types a way to avoid some stuff, but that's kind of creepy. Yeah, that would work. I wonder if we can learn to use it on Dragomir. Dragon we terrestrialize Dragomir into new types, too. <laughs> If we huh. get a third person, we could make a Doug trio. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> a Cerberus! I mean, well, actually, you get Rufio, but. Uh, Rufio, get Rufio back, you can do that. Well, it's actually Shades here, but. That stuff kind of, can be kind of weird. Power. You need Arcade Iron or something like that first. The only dog Bird, with that Bastion. Bard, Bard. The only doggo that Bastion has right now is Lucario. I mean, Sylveon's a fox thing, so... There's no arcade eye, no actual doggo. Plant type, we'll have to find a plant type somewhere, I don't know. I wonder if rubber counts as a type, he's got that. <laughs> I guess it could! <laughs> Well, we have people to save on this weird thing, so... Alright, well, uh... You navigate your way toward the... toward the point marked on the map, and you see... Hmm, let's see, uh... Well, you see a Florigato with uh, some very obvious Tanuki and Displacer Beast stuff infused into him. Uh, he's curled up outside the entrance, but uh, what do you guys think the entrance is blocked with? Uh, strawberries. <laughs> Giant strawberry? What? <laughs> sure, it's blocked off with a giant rubber strawberry. Oh, uh, this must be the place. Whoa! I've never seen. I haven't seen a Pokemon like that before. Is that a Pokemon? Whoa! It's like a Ryulu cat. Awesome. Oh no, and Nintendo's gonna be pissed somebody leaked! <laughs> yeah, Anos, let me uh, link an image of Florigato for you. You know, Scarada's pretty neat too, but Florigato. Okay, cool, give me a sec. Cooters is back inside. That yeah, it's is, like a loop. That is for like cat with a beard. Yeah. A beard? What? <laughs> it's more like a 
more like a really long uh, collar. It's like that a probably. chest fluff thing. Mm. It's just chest fluff, yeah. Yeah, it's like a Lucario or Ryulu, like half. Hey, it's like me. I was partly between Ryulu and Lucario, except it's a cat. Is it a Pokemon? <gasps> Is this the answer to getting a Grass type? <laughs> Maybe my cat type will get the Grass type bef before the goat will. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm being a little weird because Tenaball. Or maybe it's just. Oh, no, maybe Tenaball just removes some inhibitions or something. Uh, yes. Either way! <clears throat> yeah, so well, Tiana told be me place. you'd be coming here. Oh, yes! That's a big strawberry. Mm. Yeah, I got some rope. Hmm? I figured it would be an appropriate symbolic gesture for blocking off the point of entry. It's, yeah. It I know some food after all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know some rubber latex folks will probably like to eat that. <laughs> Bastion was now fascinated by the Ryu Lu Lucario cat-looking thing. <laughs> We're gonna have to get in there and fix the rubber plant stuff. Huh. Yes, I was also told I was also told you were interested in setting up uh, some kind of defensive barrier. People know yeah. when they're crossing over into this land, because it's hard to tell when you're like digging underground, you know, if you've accidentally crossed the national border. Ah, so warning mechanism. He takes out a he takes out a sketchbook and starts drawing. Bash is gonna slowly float over his shoulder to look. <laughs> but first, uh, yeah, but first, uh, he summons uh, some kind of black fruit, pops it with his claw, and uh, he dips a pen in the juice. He, and then he starts using that as ink. Ooh. Even more fascinated by this plant cat. Oh my god. <laughs> what? He needs a grass type and it's a cat. He's a cat too, or supposed to be. It's a good thing that he can't see you staring so intently seeing as you're a tentacle. Oh no, I'm more than aware of it. It's just neat. I've never met one of you before, that's all. I always thought if I ever got, like, a grass-type form at some point, I would have to be, like... There's not a lot of, like, neat grass-types out there, so... I was always worried if when I got one, I'd end up like a Venusaur or something. But now that I know there's more out there that I... Not only that, but if there's Pokémon out there I never even knew about, that means there's so much more that I could go around and discover and meet, and new Pokémon out there, and that's just... It's just adventure mode to activate. <laughs> Enthusiasm, your uh, enthusiasm is a little off-putting to tie on here, but uh, he continues sketching away. Sorry, I just... The thought of so much new stuff to be able to go out and see and new Pokémon is just... So much oh. to see and learn and, and all that, that's just great. Once all this is taken care of, of course. Yes. So what I'm thinking is, if we drilled into... If we drilled into a number of points uh, around the mountain, we could we could uh, plant some of my flowers to use as we could uh, set up a we could set up a wall of energy using my flowers, and if anybody breached that wall, uh, it would send them a psychic message. I suppose that could work. And then you would especially know if somebody is willingly trying to invade things. Yes. And then it could be used as a vector for channeling the curse. 
Uh, yeah, that too. Yeah, I like that idea. Is Tiana there too now? <laughs> Tiana is talking through Tyon's Tanuki tail. Oh, jeez, that's right. <laughs> I can get the flowers in place. I can get them in pretty easily with the tentacle stuff, probably. Yeah, me and Dragon, yeah, because Dragomir can dig tunnels pretty easily, and I can install them with tentacle stuff. Mm. Yeah, Gotta deal with the, the rubber Smortal. stuff first. Mm, yes, the Smortal Mountains alone are... Just... The... the Smortal Mountains alone are about 30 miles away. The mountain range is about 30 miles across. And if we want to... Hmm. If we want to surveil the Fifenberg Mountains, too, you'd be looking at more like 80 miles. Hmm. Considering the, uh... I mean, considering how densely packed we would want the flowers to be, we'd be looking at something on the order of... 300 or 400 different holes. That's a lot of work. Tie on nods. That's military business, I suppose. I mean, they're plants. Can they just grow downwards? They could. <laughs> Do you have anything on top for, like, the border? Like, magic or something? Because if there's stuff on the top, and you just plant them along the top, and then they'll grow down. I don't know if that works. Yes, I suppose. I'm not sure if the... Of course. A drill sure tank would sure probably help. I'm not sure if there is a plant with roots that would go that deep. That deep, huh? I wonder. Well, uh, what if you planted some flowers up top and the, like, I don't know, mushrooms under a mountain? Yeah! Yeah, oh, oh! Yeah, what we if you... do need a three-dimensional barrier. Like, what, what if there's, like, a, the, the symbiotic relate Symbiotic? Is that right? Because then, like, the mushrooms can grow on the roots and grow downwards. And they can benefit the flowers. And you get the flowers on top and the mushrooms on the bottom. Hmm. Is that how that works? Uh... I just know about symbiotes from like classmates and like school stuff, so is that I don't know if that's the right thing. Hmm. I suppose the question then is how far down do we dig? Otherwise, you'd have to have stuff that could, like, root into, like, little bits of septium that drag, uh, go all the way down. But you don't want to summon cryptids. This poor guy, like, those poor cryptids just yanked away from home. Well, that's a matter, well, that's a matter for us to solve, uh... If we get the mushroom and the flower, I can try to make something for it, to do it. Mm. Tyon looks over at the big rubber strawberry. Well, either way, I suppose we should... Uh... I suppose we should uh, open up this passage for all of you to go in. 
Yep. He uh, he waves his paw, and the big strawberry shrinks, and uh... you want us to plant big, some big a big flood of the uh, big flood of white latex pours out. It's kind of uh, <laughs> suggestive, actually. Wow, this brings back memories. Eh, if it's this tough, I can probably deal with it. Hmm. Um, yes, do that. Okay. You want us to plant some flowers of yours in the tunnel there, too? After we're done cleaning up. See how it works, test run or whatever? Yes, since you're offering. Uh, Tiana, could you help me out? Yep. And uh, he holds out his hand and uh, forms a forms a flower bud in one hand and a mushroom in the other, and he hands them both to you. Oh, so these are the monitoring ones. You want me to try to mix them up here? Uh, mix them up. The symbiotic thing, or you just want to plant both in the tunnel to see which works? Uh, I was thinking we. I was thinking we could plant uh, one or two of each. I could, co I could climb the mountains. Uh, yes, I could leave a. Uh, he trails off and uh, it creates another flower to near uh, the entrance. This will let me know if anybody tries to come through this side. But right now, yeah. Music looping. Yes, right now we should uh, try planting some of these flowers and mushrooms around the mining site to see if they will actually go off. Alright. Hmm, I might need to call some of my friends to help clean this up. It's okay, there's a bunch of them now. If I gotta... Who do you have in mind? Oh, uh... Y you may have met them when you were visiting Academy Place or not. You know, nobody's... Probably, yeah, uh, Dragomir probably did run into uh, some kobolds and stuff made of white goo. Wait, what? Kobolds made of what? Oh no, Ashton does, Ashton does have kobolds now! <laughs> does he even realize that? Or is it, did, Tia, did Tiamat make them? <laughs> uh, or did... That's a good question, actually. I don't know who made them. If Tiamat is making kobolds for Bastion, he doesn't even realize that that's <laughs> happening. He thinks they're all for his mom. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's see if I can call some of them over. <gasps> Reach in the pouch. <laughs> or try to. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, you pulled some of them out of your out of your own massive tentacles. Uh, they. Stand at attention, ready to receive orders. And of course, Bastion has no idea... ...about... Well, he's seen people with minions and stuff, but he has no idea about it and the stuff in regards to himself, so they're just friends. <laughs> yeah, Tyon and both of the Tiana Tales present are just watching. Alright, you guys! We gotta clean up this mess! If there's plant dudes in there that, well, plant dudes that weren't still originally plant dudes, we gotta save them and get them out of there. If there's new plant things in there that are just like, well, kind of like what you guys were before, just let me know and we could do the thing and then we could have plant friends too. But we gotta get those people out of there and we gotta clean up all this stuff. Me and the others are gonna head in there and deal with the other stuff. Can you get it handle this out here? Yes, sir! 
right, let's do this. All right, and uh, you guys head on into the mine. Uh, everything seems to be going. Everything seems to be going pretty well. Uh, you encounter. Well, you encounter quite a few. Uh, yeah, you encounter quite a few of these uh, rubber fruit uh, creatures connected to what looks like they might have been ore veins or septium veins, but now they're big vines made of rubber. They just ate up the septium to get, make more rubber stuff? That seems like it'd be a big problem. Hmm. Do we, are these, like, fruits and plants used to be people, or are these just growing from the stuff? Uh, they ha they have heads and limbs, so uh, it's it extremely likely that they used to be people. Are their auras and stuff still in them, or <laughs> yes, their auras and stuff are still in them. I think we found some of the miners. Oh man, can we restore these guys? <laughs> Uh, let's get Tyon's opinion on some of this. Uh... All right. Whoa, I. Yeah, Dragomir's tail uh, starts speaking in Tyon's voice. I did not realize he could do this. Hmm. Uh, we're not gonna have to fight a giant rubber plant cryptid, are we? It's not gonna go like Tyon, feed me. One would hope not. Uh, his miners have suffered enough indignity already. Yeah, let's get them cut out, and hopefully we can return them to normal. If not, I'll use the stuff I got from the other guys, and we'll just give them new forms. I mean, hey, if they're miners with rubber stuff, at least they're not gonna get hurt easily. It would appear Fighter that cats or something. It would appear that the this rubber it would appear that this rubber plant matter reacted with the drone suits and fused with them. Uh, so the miners are just stuck under all that stuff then. <laughs> Well, more like they've transformed completely. Into just fruits? Wow, that's a... Uh... Talk about a bad fate. Ooh. Think we can in change them back if we cut yes, them off? Or... Yes, in theory it would be possible. Alright, let's get one cut off and see if we can restore them. Like I said, if we can't, I've got the thing... Well... I don't need to make kobolds. There's others that are not kobolds. We can try to figure out what they were before, and I can try to... Even if they come out rubbery, I mean, at least they're not a fr stuck on the wall as a fruit. <laughs> Indeed. And hey, I mean, spreading more of the guys around, I mean, they only just recently became a thing, so... The more the merrier, although I'm not sure if the guy, uh, the people eaten by these plant things would appreciate it as much, but uh, it's got to be better than a fruit on a wall. Uh, some, magic tra some magic travels from Dragomir's tail up into his claws. I prepared the magic. Okay. Uh, simply, simply use your claws to cut the to cut the stem, and the magic should do the rest. All right, let's give this a try. All right, well, uh, you. All right, you slash the stem, and uh, this fruit uh, shrinks into a a. Uh, very pink Pokemon that uh, Bastion is might not be familiar with at this point. It's a Tinkaton, though. 
It's kind she of seems to. Pokemon. Yes, she seems to still be rubbery. Uh, she rubs her head and uh, looks around. Ugh. Uh, guess what, I, just ha what just happened? I guess I don't need to do the thing. As long as she is what she's supposed to be. I mean, outside of being rubbery, but... Uh, I can't answer that, but... Uh, snatched up by a rubber plant thing, I guess? Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess that is what happened, isn't it? Are you what you're supposed to be? No, side of the rubbery. She uh, Let's... she looks that she looks down at her hands. Uh, then she gets back to looking for something else. Uh, yep, this is what I look like uh, besides the rubber. Oh well, that's. I mean, hey, I guess I don't need to do the thing. Uh, well, hopefully I won't. Uh, but it's good at least we got you out of that. Man, this thing is weird. Does anybody see a giant hammer around here? Uh... Are you sure it's not, like, part of you? <laughs> right now? Try... pulling a big rubber hammer out of yourself. I don't know. I don't know what this plant did. <laughs> Maybe if we slash the plant again, something else will come out. Well, the the fruit that the fruit is gone. It turned into the Tinkaton. Oh, hammer went. Oh, oh, Dragomir, Dragomir. Yeah. Why don't you get some of this rubber stuff? I bet you can use it in potions. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Besides, we... A lot of it to go around. Hmm. Did the plant eat a hammer? That'd be pretty crazy. Uh, just look around for it. She tries... Yeah, she tries tugging on her hair and uh, on her arms, but she... It doesn't seem to do much of anything, and you can't find a hammer anywhere. That's... I don't see a hammer anywhere, no. Yeah, jeez. I guess I'm, there, I guess I'm getting a new one when I get out of here, when I shift up, though. It actually is... How long was I down here? I have no idea. Well, what do you think today's date is? Fifth day of my shift when we. There... No, it was. Uh... Yeah, it was the fifth day of my shift when we uh, got down here, and then. Yeah, and then the septium vein started acting strange, and. Uh... remember too much of what happened after that, but that was a... that was a Friday. Oh jeez, it could have been a bit. <sighs> I can tell you it's Tuesday right now, and, but a long huh. time, I would bet. It is. Let me check my... <gasps> uh oh. I think I pulled a Mr. Garen, maybe. Oh, well, whatever. I was wondering it just means a... I was gonna check my phone, but I don't know where my phone is at. Uh, let's try to pull, make a phone out of a tentacle. Let's see what date it is. Well, whatever. <laughs> it just means uh, just means the chief owes me overtime. Long 
<laughs> everybody else in this that's, one chapter. That's one way of looking at it. Hmm. Well, let's get everybody else out of here. None of these fruits. And thankfully, I doesn't look like I have to do a thing to get everybody new bodies and stuff, so... I try to make you a new hammer as practice later, maybe. I don't know how good it would be, but... As long as it's a metal hammer and not a rubber one. Galvanized rubber can be pretty heavy, but... Yeah, I gotcha. Oh, jeez. I still have... I still have this printed on me. What? Uh, she... She points to a mark... She points to a marking on her chest that says E43. I can try to get rid of that if you want. Uh, yeah. Tentacle poke! Let's try to... Get it off of her. Alright, well, uh, you get that off of her. There you go. Yeah, being marked like a drone would suck. Yeah, no kidding. Especially if somebody makes you dance randomly. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's find the other people in here and hope this plant hasn't turned into an oh, another cryptid. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you, you guys, uh, take you guys take some time uh, cleaning up the rest of the guys, uh, and uh, cleaning up the whole latex infestation. And it doesn't seem like there are any cryptids around. Alrighty. So these guys don't need Bastion's thing. They just reform, thankfully. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Just gotta remove the drone stuff constantly. E -e 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 -e. Wipe it off. <laughs> Alright. That being 43rd, uh, uh, Septium Minor, they become regular Septium Miners. Someone's call me first, uh, <laughs> first drone cleaner. <laughs> yeah, first drone cleaner. No, they... we only use the numbers when we're suited up. Might yeah. Aubrey. Somehow I was guessing that. <laughs> that brings back memories somehow, but... Man, if I don't remember having certain Pokemon on my team in the past, then my memory really is Blitz from this world ending. I totally would, think, though. Yes, you think you remember something about that. Uh, something about having a Tinkaton. Huh. It really does bring back memories. Man. Ah! I can't believe I forgot new Pokemon! Oh, that sucks. Ah. Oh. Well, if you knew a guy named Bastion... <laughs> yeah, I did. That's me! What? I, I'm really? Just clicking up. Yeah, um... I, right now, I had a chaos incident, but... I'm supposed to be a tiger dragon... Tiger, Dragon, Lucario, Ryulu, yeah. Dang. The Bastion I knew was just a tiger. Yeah, that was... Yeah, so you're from my old team before Strasbert pulled dumb. He was a lot older than you, too. Yeah, Are that's what sure? happened. Are you sure? I got Are turned into a... I got turned into a Ryulu when the game cheated to get rid of it, try to get rid of me. And Ryulu aren't exactly adults, you know? And then the world ended and I came back and was well, still Ryulu. Well, that doesn't sound fair at all. Uh, no, no it doesn't, but I've got two sets of parents now and growing up again means more adventure. Hmm. Even though it's going to take forever to grow up now because I'm a dragon now, so... But hey, adventure! <laughs> Sorry, Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? He's trying to lay on my arm, and I raised him up to go adventure, and he slipped out. Oh, no. <laughs> Buddy. Rusty boy. Rusty just had an adventure. <laughs> the 30-pound cat slipped. At least he doesn't use his claws to hang on, so... What are you look You're looking at the webcam for some reason, okay? Now he's not letting go, okay. <sighs> okay, then. So, we need to get rid of all this plant, and we gotta plant the other things. 
Where do we want to plant the stuff, Tyon? Tyon uh, directs the two of you toward a suitable location. Then he instructs Aubrey to try to to try walking through. Uh, yeah, to try walking through the tunnel. She does, and uh, yeah, I de yeah, I definitely felt that. What is that? And then uh, Tyon explains it, and and Aubrey frowns. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I didn't know we were tunneling it. I didn't know we were tunneling this close to Assassin Press. Oh. Question is, is there Florigato data in the flowers? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. No, oh, Bastion's gonna copy that before we put them in. <laughs> of course he is. Alrighty. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell when you're tunneling underground. Yes. Well, hopefully the, hopefully the barrier will make it a lot clearer. We gotta get to this rubber plant, too. The kobolds are cleaning all of that up. I can probably help. <sighs> all I gotta do is channel that latex stuff and slurp it down like a spaghetti. <laughs> Not a spaghetti! I could probably make more kobolds, or plant dudes! Ooh! Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, why not do that? Sure. Well, your I can do the thing! <laughs> your tentacles get all rubbery in the process. It's not like you can't change that out of yeah. there, that's fine. He's got that in him already, so... And, yeah, and eating the plant stuff uh, actually reveals septium underneath the vines, so it looks like the septium didn't actually go away. Oh, hey! Septium down here. Well, hey, if you, yeah, if but you guys... Yeah. Is, this safe, is this safe for us to mine? Not without a deal with Tiana, because it's her septium. It's not glowing and, and doing weird stuff, so I guess it must be safer than other septia. Well, I suppose I, cannot, I suppose I could always ask for a transfer to one of the other mining sites. Well, I mean, they're probably going to have to dig another direction. Plus, we got rid of the dragon, so we sent the dragon home, so there's a whole bunch to mine over there. Oh. Uh, yeah, that could work. Alright, well, I guess I'm heading up to go do that. It's great meeting you again, Bastion. Yeah, I'm glad to find. I'm always glad to find more of the people I traveled with before. My memory's not what it should be. I lost a lot when the world no. ended. But uh, I, I'm not alone in that. A lot of people are like that. But I'm trying to find everybody again and save the world from being eaten by darkness again. If, if stopping the dumb, if I can do it. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, I hope you find everyone again. I hope so, too. I'll keep in touch and let you know. Yeah, even if we can't all really go on adventures anymore, it'd be nice to meet some of the other, some of my other friends again. Yep. And I'll try to make a new hammer for you. I've been practicing smithing. I can't guarantee it'll be great, but, uh... I mean, I made this giant golden banana. Whoa. <laughs> Jess, right, he made it into a freaking golden banana club hammer thing. Wow. Hey, it's heavy and it works. <laughs> Alright, uh, it takes the 
takes the rest of the day, but uh, at the end of the day, it seems like the whole mining site is cleared up. Uh, you, uh, somebody, no somebody knocks on the hatch, and uh, it actually opens without anybody getting sniped with a chakra this time. Hey, what? Chopper? Chakram. Chakram. Oh, oh, I see. We opened it from the other side and we didn't get hit this time. Yes. Okay. All right. So uh, it doesn't take too long before uh, before Garson notices and uh, comes strolling through. Hmm? <laughs> oh, you want to uh, you want to clean that up already, huh? Peepers. <laughs> yep. We gotta clean up. My cobalt friends and other friends are clean up, and I slurp the rest of it down, and outside of being rubbery, all the miners are free. Uh, yeah, good. Uh, that's, that's good. Alright, well, uh, mission accomplished, I guess, then. Yep. Yeah, working with Tiana to make sure that it's obvious when you're digging into uh, another country. <laughs> uh, right, yeah. Guess we wouldn't want another repeat of that, would we? Nope. It'd be up to you guys or somebody of in a higher point of power to make deals otherwise, so... Uh, that would... Yeah, that would be uh, a <clears throat> that would be on the, the that would be on Lord Burning. Was that the same dude who made the Chaos Reactor? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Somehow I get the feeling he might not be interested in deals. Yeah. Considering he was willing to destroy the world practically to make energy. Uh, is there anybody above him? Uh, uh well, if Governor Finagle counts, then, uh, maybe. Huh. I mean, there's... Who made these mountains, anyways? Uh, what do you mean, who made them? They... They're, they're mountains. Somebody had to have, like, made him, like, quit out of stuff. I don't know, man. I don't know. Huh. Okay. I mean, uh, it's like the same his... person who made all the, uh, like, superhero and weird stuff going on. Or was that just, yeah, everybody just remembers it always being there. I don't know how things came back like this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I remember the old. I remember in the old world, uh, there were followers of some god or another who said that they made the world, but then others are saying that they, no, they no, they didn't. That's a never-ending story amongst multiple worlds. <laughs> So, uh, 
uh, yeah, long story short, uh, nobody knows why these mountains are here. There's gotta be somebody. There's gotta be somebody in charge of this region. Like, not even politically. Nothing gets made without somebody making it. It's still weird that people are able to do that here. I mean, I'm glad there's not just a whole bunch of nothing around, but... Hmm. Well, when, there, when there's chaos, I mean, chaos looks for somebody with a strong will and a strong imagination to give it some kind of direction. Uh, it's just tentacle wolf oil all over, uh, I guess? <laughs> hmm. So somebody's here that we don't know who it is, huh? Or was. I would assume so. So in the absence of somebody making it, they just find somebody else? I guess so, yeah. Oh. Ah, <sighs> shoot. I see. Alright, well, then we are going to have to somehow find whoever it is eventually to try to fix some stuff, but, uh... I doubt Lord Burning is gonna be willing to be too talkative, but... I'd sell, I'd sell for, uh... I'd sell for this mining company, just leaving my side of the mountains alone. Works for me. <laughs> no, for... As long as it works for Lord Burning. I mean, he could always, if he has a problem, he can always come try to visit, and then... <laughs> I'll... <clears throat> and I'll have somebody write up a risk assessment and send it up his way. Alrighty. Hmm. So, uh, you know, if you guys are done here, uh, you might want to get out of the way of the mine operations. Yep, we'll head back. We gotta set up yep, some uh, stuff and all that. Yep, I'll put in a good word with the guild, don't you worry. Oh, yeah. I've done a lot of stuff for the guild, so, uh, I mean, it's just... Hey, give Dragomir credit. Maybe he can get some guild credit stuff. Hopefully. He's not part of the guild, but hey, there's people that there's collaborators with the guild. Do they have ranks? I don't know. But hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Gerson seems a little distracted looking over at the open entrance to Mineshaft Bravo. What's up? Eh, nah, nothing. Just mine business. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your business, it's mine. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's yeah. nacho cheese. Uh, it's, so, so what you're telling me is it's a a minor problem, not a bigger <laughs> problem. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, all right, go on, get out of here. All right, let's deal with the stuff that we got to deal with in here, and then we can get back and stuff. Hmm. Oh, Aubrey, before we go, um, hold on, let me see. Bastion's going to try to do a thing and make, I guess, a rubber kitty spider to give the Aubrey to have with her. <laughs> Little friendly Aww, mind pet. he's adorable! There you go! You take that with you. Is it going to be safe for him to come with me? Why wouldn't it be? I don't know. The mining is dangerous work. God, he's made out of rubber. Yeah, he should be fine. Yeah, I guess he is. Plus, I mean, he can probably just, like, liquefy and squirm out of stuff if he needs to. Can I do that? Maybe? I don't know. Hmm. If you can't, I can probably help you do it. <laughs> That's weird. I know, I've dealt with a lot of, I mean, well, look at me, I... It... Alright, now I am weird. 
Yeah, I guess that's true. Ugh. Alrighty, well I'll see you again. Uh, I would give like a contact info, but I think I absorbed my phone probably when I became a tenable, but uh... Eh, that's... that's fine. I left my phone in my locker anyway. Alrighty, well... I'll definitely be seeing it again. I'll still look yep. for the others. Maybe we can have a reunion party at some point or something. Yep, catch you around. Uh... In the meantime, I'm gonna go... Uh... Huh. Actually, I'm not even hungry. I guess I'll just go home for now. You could bye. Bye. She does oh, a she has a happy twirl and uh, bounces on out of the out of the mine. Well, at least we didn't have to fight anything today. Hmm, we should probably look at closing that shaft, though. I make sure its uh, borders are established there. Yeah, uh... I better do it when, uh, when the big guy's not looking, though. Actually, should we do it from the other side? Yeah, let's do it from the other side so uh, just... there's no uh, trouble. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, what will you do? That's up the dragon here. I'll head out either way. Okay, so we can now uh, before we do anything, let's take a quick review of the shafts. We were in we have the five shafts. Right, Alpha. Yep, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Echo. Echo, we just came out of. Yeah. Bravo, there being suspicious about. Uh, which one was the? The Delta was was the dragon. No, Bravo was the dragon. Bravo was the dragon. Yeah, Charlie and Delta are being guarded by drones. Uh, they're guarded by security drones, not the mining ones. Anyhow, um, uh, I should probably go, go close up the the shaft, the uh, epsilon shaft, echo shaft. Yep. Well. Okay. Uh, they, they, they recommended doing it from the other side, though. Tiana, re yeah, Tiana recommended uh, collapsing it from inside. Yeah. Oh, so, since if we go do that, though. Uh, I have to. Can we get back to um, the city? Can uh... well, it might be a little. It might be a little hard to dig your way through without uh, opening it up again. Right, right. No, I meant uh, um, Bastion. Could he tend to port or something? Should be able to. Yeah, like, uh, I don't know, could you tend to, like, could you lock onto us in Teneport? Uh, who was saying that, Tayana? Tayana, yeah. 
I've been there, so I could teleport there, but yeah, probably. Okay, uh, then we'll do Yeah, that. so, I guess we do that, and we'll, clear it. we'll uh, close the shaft from the inside, and then we'll, you know, go, go to the other side, and then we'll teleport back. Yeah, I should send the, uh, latex, the latex kobolds and all that back home, too, once they're done. Okay. Uh... Hopefully you guys did this without uh, any of the security drones hearing you. <laughs> I mean, what does it matter if the security drones hear us? It's, Tiana, it's Tiana's frickin' property and territory. It's like, how dare you plant a bush on your own property? <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't wouldn't give that information right in front of the in front of the security drones. I mean, for better or worse, Bastion is not the sort to avoid punching Lord Burning in the face, so he will definitely estelle him if he needs to. <laughs> so probably not the best person to rely on for that. All right. And we don't, we don't know anything about any of the other shafts, so there's not really much we can do here. All right. <clears throat> Only question is, uh, how much power do you want to put into this Eldritch Blast? Yeah, I suppose that's a good point. How many points of fatigue do? Make sure you cause fatigue to the mountain. Don't make the mountain sad or angry. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying that I should go go for the full knock knockout there. <laughs> I guess right. that's one way of doing it. Of course, it won't be good maximum, for the rest of the day. Maximum destruction. Tiana would approve. Yeah, you, you better carry me away, Bastion, after I do this. <laughs> Yeah, if I you make the mountain, if you worry make the about it, the uh, uh, the berry transformation gives you plenty of juice. Eh, oh. eh, eh. All right, well, uh, zap away. You zap away, and it's uh, actually just like she said. Uh, it's, it takes a little bit, but you feels like you recover more or less immediately. Which is contradicting what I just said, but uh, it doesn't take too yeah, it doesn't take too long for you to uh, feel completely recovered from that. This is some powerful stuff. Yeah, it's definitely stuff I could. Well, I don't want to be a berry, but it'd be handy to recover quickly. <laughs> Especially since I'm the only one who can heal other people at the moment. <laughs> yeah, we never did find a solution for that, did we? No, especially because I can't heal or heal myself if I'm full on fatigue, so. Because <laughs> Rufio is still back home, or back at the academy. Wow, that's a heck of a blast. I bet if I combine my Aura Sphere with your stuff, we combine attacks together, we can make some crazy stuff. Well, it'll make a crazy explosion, at least. That's what I mean. We need to blow up a bad guy's lair, list his combined powers, and make a big bada boom. Need to make one of those those fancy fancy move combinations. One person moves their arms in in a dramatic way, another person moves their arms in the opposite dramatic way, and boom. That must be a video game there, for. I just noticed GDQ says VeggieTales. Like, I'm assuming there's a VeggieTales video game, otherwise they're like, what are they watching they're, the they're deep? I mean, there probably is like a Larry Boy video game or something. I, could I, was gonna, that. I was gonna say, what are they doing? Watching the DVDs and fast forward? GDQ. <laughs> weed eater. It's not weed eater. It's like weed eater. 
to... Watching it on, yeah. on uh, so, uh, YouTube 2X. So, uh, yeah, Dragomir, how do you feel about having uh, just completely blown up that mineshaft by yourself? Oh, well, that was... Impressive. Yeah, it's a heck of a boom. Okay. <sighs> well, that was fun. Uh, it's. I guess I'm along for the ride now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> the three of us, we're gonna. Well, uh, whoever it is we're fighting, they're not going to know what hit them. Jeez, now both of us have people hanging around in secret. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, this is... At least I won't have to tell you the stories. You'll see them. Oh yeah, yourself. I didn't follow that. As long as Tiana doesn't fall for shade. <laughs> <laughs> Two kind of symbiotic tagalongs. <laughs> Alright, well, uh... Okay, uh, let's see... Did you ever, uh... I forget who was going to report to the guild about the, uh, the reactor. Did you do that? Did Russ say he we, was gonna do it? We did that before, didn't we? Uh, we went to the guild before. Yeah, because we went and reported everything before we went and... Okay, and well, we... uh... Yeah, because we did that before we headed to the mines, because we reported that, and then we decided, because we wanted to get the data over right away that we got from Sid. And we made sure, did, did we make sure that Sid got safely to the guild? Yes. Yeah. We were at the guild, that's where we, I mean, we, we, we took him, yes, we took him to the guild and stuff, and <clears throat> we gave all the information over before we went back to the mines. Because remember, we were suspicious about what's going on in the mines. Yeah. About why there's a shortage. Well, uh, by now you've probably received a uh, you probably received an angry email from the guild from the guild commissioner uh, uh, yelling about you like how you shouldn't have shut down the reactor without already having a plan in place, and you've jeopardized the livelihoods of ten thousand industrial workers and their families on top of this. And how can you place the safety of theoretical people years from now over the well-being of the citizens who exist right now? Stuff like that. And uh, he's he's he says he's going to note he says he's going to notify the central office, and uh, if he has his way, he'll be demoted to junior hero. Who, who hired this Karen in charge of the guild? Here. Excuse me. I think the world a uh, world ending thing takes priority over stuff. Plus there are uh, don't they have aren't everything run on orbital energy anyway, so it's still working just fine, most of the stuff. <laughs> Way to poke a plot hole in my angry email. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this dude just doesn't know how the orbital stuff works, I don't know. Sounds like a lot of the people don't know how orbital stuff works. I mean, the realistically, the way you would have an energy crisis here is if industrial growth is just outgrowing the septium resources. Yeah, well, I mean, it's... Which is kind really, of somebody else's fault entirely. 
Yeah, it's not our fault at all. Whoever, who is this dude in charge of things? This is dumb. Uh, Does he even have the ability to de demote Bastion to begin with? I don't even know what Bastion's race is. That's why he's complaining to the central office. But that's complaining to Jin, who would probably suplex the dude for being a moron, so... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, so according to the email, his name is Wayne Gibbous. Is he... is he like a frickin' moon dude? What the heck? <laughs> you don't know the answer to that. I'm going to guess whoever was in charge of the guild here was put there in, for, in regards to politics instead of actual, like, hero stuff. What is with this stupid email? You would think preventing the end of the world is more important than, uh, than freaking Amazon not being able to manufacture, like, junk. <laughs> Bastion, are you getting angry again? I mean... Kind of, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if that's a condition, though. It's just more like... It's just like, what? This is stupid. This is more facepalm angry than it is, like, angry angry, I guess. Yeah, but I guess. it's... It's like, what? Who is this guy? Like, excuse me. I guess that means Bastion is no, hasn't been a junior hero for a while, but... <laughs> not like Bastion pays attention to his ranks or anything. He just does stuff. Like, uh, considering, wait, considering the guild was behind us investigating and dealing with this, who is this dummy? At the very, at the very least, I think Bastion would be E rank. E rank? Yeah. That's like, that's pretty super low. <laughs> mm. Yeah, maybe. Like I said, at the very least. Right, he's been through, like, multiple world-ending things at this point. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd never be able to take any guild missions besides finding lost cats. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be able to fix orbital lights. That's boring! <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, uh, angry email is angry email. Considering the the guild thing here was probably pretty high rank, and he just joined it. <laughs> mm, well, maybe maybe we want to investigate this burning guy. I'm not sure where we would uh... burning guy or or whoever the hell this guild leader is. What is this stupid email? What kind of Heroes Guild leader sends an email like that? This is dumb! <laughs> is he a political appointee? What is this dumb? It was a guild quest! We did it with the guild- It was the a guild, guild quest! quest. Was, the guild quest was to investigate the power plant, not shut it down. And somebody else would have shut it down anyway! <laughs> Like, excuse me for chaos stuff latching onto me, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, uh, it seems like a... Seems like a good time to head back to the hotel and get some rest. It's been proof of what was happening, that seems... Yeah, this dude's a dummy. How is he possibly in charge of the guild office? Alright, so are we done here for tonight? I don't know, I guess. Uh, unless you don't have anything else. Does anybody... I mean, does anybody else want to do anything at the hotel? Outside of Bastion trying to calm the Tenable down so he can shift back to his other forms, mm -hmm. not necessarily. I mean, he's annoyed, he's angry at the stupid guild thing. He probably said any... He probably sent an email back to his dad and, like, the dean about stuff, because this is like, who is this guy? What the heck? Sure, right, he didn't well, start, uh, start a seems... flame war on the 
on All the right, email well, chain with or a little something. Bit of, with a little bit of pushing and prodding, uh, you're able to turn yourself into a rubber Sylveon. So, progress. Uh, well, it wasn't exactly what I was aiming for, but uh, it's something. <laughs> oh, Tiana seems to be amused. I didn't expect to be rubber or a Sylveon, but... The heck? Why am I doing both? Did I get too much data in there from these, from doing the stuff? Ah, uh, I gotta get this tentacle under control. Work. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta get this thing under control so I can change back to normal. This tentacle, like, reverting the tentacle is weird. I wonder if I accidentally did a thing. Oh, well. And I gotta find out what's up with this guild leader. And everything else going on. Alright, well, uh, this uh, seems like a good time to uh, do growth questions. Once I find the thing. Ah. Alright. Did you learn something challenging, exciting, or complicated about the world? Well, I mean, Bastion learned about Bastion learned that there are some cool new Pokemon out there that he forgot about. <laughs> What's about Dragomir? I mean, we both learned that there's somebody creating the area that and yeah, how things I guess are working that, there. Yeah, I guess that's true. <coughs> All right, so that's a yes for both of you. Did you stop a dangerous threat or solve a community problem? Yeah, I'd say. Uh, I'd say doing diplo diplomatic stuff counts as solving a community problem. Yep. Uh, and it got them out of the rubber, so... Did you guide a companion towards balance or end the session at your center? Uh, that's a no for both of you now. Yeah. Alright. Dragomir. Did you express vulnerability by admitting that you were wrong or that you should have listened to someone you ignored? Uh, no. Bastion. Did you improve the lives of a community of average citizens or help an ordinary person with their problems? We saved a mind of people turned into rubber fruits, if that counts. Yes, that, yes, that counts. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, time to mark some growth. Let's see. Bastion, you should have you should have four now, which means you get another advancement. I'd be at four. Are you sure it's at four? It said I was at three on my end here. Oh. Okay. Then uh, you get an advancement and you have two now. Wait, what? What do you mean? If you start it if you started at three No, I advanced... started at zero I start I thought I started at zero. Oh. My log says you started at 1. Unless I forgot to save last time. Maybe it's supposed to be at 1? Maybe I forgot to save last time. Right. Oh wait, that's right. Yeah, the cats put gibberish and I close it out. So, okay, I guess. That's their all right. Okay, yep, uh, that means you can take Ow! an advancement. Uh, Dragomir, you get 2. And right, and I started at 3. So therefore, I have no at... Huh, my file said you started at zero, but okay. Uh, All right. to say. make an advancement. So now I'm at one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alright, so I take an advancement, which means I can either buff a stat... I have... I'm trying to remember which ones I have left, too, outside of stats and center of balance stuff. Uh, a new move from the Idealist playbook. Yeah. I don't have any others from another playbook, huh? No. Alrighty, I gotta find- where in the world are the- I'm looking for the playbook. I don't, uh, 
Microsoft, I am looking for the playbook. I am not looking for the stupid movie. I will take another move, and I guess that's your rules stink. We'll go with because I, that. I do. Yeah. Which is the one that? Yeah. What was the one that? Wait, is your rules stink yes. the one that you thought was good? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. I took that last time. Okay. Uh. Ouch! Stop it. Can't knock me down doesn't help when Harmony is my one of my lower stats. <laughs> uh, ouch, ouch, I guess ouch. that leaves it doesn't belong to you. Roll with Harmony. What does it roll with an ordinarily? <laughs> Could be rely on your skills and training. Or push your luck. Wait, that's real with Harmony. Wait, no, Harmony's a big stat for me, never mind. Uh Does stealing form data and stuff count as that <laughs> part of that? Owned by someone undeserving. Well, if somebody tra if somebody transforms into an epic form to fight. <laughs> Why is Microsoft Edge open? Oh, it's because it used Microsoft frickin' Edge to open the oh, PDF. Why oh, frickin' stupid Microsoft? Oh. Ah. Hmm. Where is this? Lucky. Rusty. I mean, I don't know. Bastion hasn't exactly stolen stuff from other people like that, but... I'm trying to think of what that would count for. Yeah, the only two uh, I mean, maybe, I... maybe this is on me for not bringing up these kinds of situations. Well, I mean, even then, like, what would he take from somebody? I don't really think... I mean, not backing down in superior opposition is... Sometimes, but... I mean, I can't think of something somebody would have that Bastion would be stealing from somebody. Unless uh, somebody stole something to begin with, or... Uh, he took the... the um, he took the Valos thing that one time. And yeah, he did that. I don't think the Valos thing was owned by that person. Valos was its own thing. <laughs> uh... I mean, thinking of Bastion was the only thing I could think of stealing would be from somebody. It's like somebody takes a foot, like uses something to take like a heroic or powerful form they shouldn't have, and he snatches it from them with the stuff. But like, I don't know what else. I mean, I guess people here are using keyblades without like training or having strong heart. If he steals, oh god, if he. <laughs> Pokemon Stadium frickin' stealing Keyblades from I people. I was about like, to say it. the exact same thing. <laughs> Snatching Keyblades and Keyblade forms from people. I don't know, I can't figure out between the two which would actually work well. Yeah, I mean, I like the, I like the idea of the snagging Keyblades. I guess I can go with it doesn't belong to you. I mean, there's multiple things that can count. If it counts for like four, I mean, bad guy is taking on freaking 
Uber forms and stuff or using items nine, and stuff. The but... thing you took isn't exactly what you thought it was. That's gonna that's gonna be weird. What in regards to <laughs> In regards to the kinds of things we're talking about Bastion taking. I mean, if you think about it, if somebody's using, like, a MacGuffin to turn into, like, a scary, I don't know, Cerberus thing, maybe the Cerberus thing is only because that's the bad guy who used it and it was something else for Bastion okay. in that regards. I mean, yeah, that's the well, way to think about it. Yeah, well, we'll get there when we get there. I guess we'll go with it doesn't belong to you, then. Dragonair, uh, you have an advancement. Yeah, I'm gonna put it as a plus one to passion. Okay. I am now at plus two. Rest and recover our conditions and yep, uh, figure out what the right. heck well, is uh, going on. Yeah, you guys can clear four fatigue. Really? You guys, uh, uh, you've probably had some time to uh, cool down now, too. Maybe maybe even talk to mom or dad about uh, what happened with Tiana. I, yeah, I guess they're with that. I mean,. Yeah, the angry and insecure both fits with the guild leader blowing off, and Bastion was contacting people to talk about that, because that's just... I mean, even if Bastion doesn't pay attention to his rank, he's still pretty pissy about somebody threatening to take it away, because he did something heroic to save people. For what? Uh, to clear, to clear insecure, you normally take foolhardy action without talking to your companions, and then it's cleared at the end of the scene. That. So that will never be cleared then, because that's not something I generally do. That is kind of a bad way to clear that. I'm these are, these are rules for generating drama. Yeah, I guess, but that means I'll be insecure for the rest of the campaign then. Or unless somebody guys and comforts you. I guess I really don't like these stupid like RP controlling freaking things. So I guess I'm going to be insecure for the rest of the frickin' campaign, which is not how I want to RP things, but this is- that's a dumb way to clear it. They need more ways to clear these. There are definitely some things about the system I really don't like. <laughs> there are other ways to clear conditions. Using the water thing on myself, that's about it. <laughs> I can take a bat. Oh yeah, we can do. I guess we can do cold steel and take us take a hot springs bath or wash. <laughs> With the ability. Yeah. Uh. yeah, because it. I don't know. It just doesn't. It just doesn't make sense. I'll have to do something foolhardy or hope somebody comforts me. And are, otherwise, I'm permanently stuck with a condition forever, which is really, really... It's not good for DMing or RP at all to do that. It isn't. I'm sorry. I hate the I hate the control oh. the characters thing. Wait a second. I missed something. I missed something obvious. What? Mom and dad are guiding and comforting you. I guess, yeah. yeah. All right. Clear and secure. Because that's just... I don't know. You shouldn't really have to control play, like, the character... Force people to act against their character just because of weird conditions. That's the one thing I really don't like about this system. 
I mean, expressing the conditions is different for everybody. Yes, I know it is, but not being able to, like, get rid of them for, like, ever, unless certain things come up, is dumb. Just being insecure forever unless you happen to talk to somebody that can deal with it is, like, that's worse than a freaking curse in D&D, because at least you can find multiple ways to deal with that instead of just, oh, one specific thing. Or doing something dumb, apparently. Like, doing something foolhardy and dumb, that's... just doesn't really work. <laughs> Like, oh, you clear as insecure by putting yourself in more in your everyone else in more danger, which your character normally wouldn't do, just because it's incentivizing players to do things that they normally wouldn't do, or a character normally wouldn't do, to clear an arbitrary condition, which is not good for actual role playing. Hmm. <coughs> yeah, maybe, we, maybe we need to. Uh... There needs to be more conditions, too, because these do not cover, like, most situations. I mean, there should be other conditions and statuses other than just, like, what we have in there, especially in our things. I mean, there's, there's like, stuck in other forums, there's curses and stuff like that, but it's also just, like... I don't know, it's not... <coughs> it's not... It's way too restrictive in regards to how you need to use your characters. I mean, it reminds me of that Wilder Myth game I wanted to get, but that's because you're just play. you're not playing a character, you have a list of characters you're controlling tactics-wise, and it's basically what that game does. They will have certain situations that will inflict them with certain conditions, like afraid, angry, and all that, and it affects how the story goes. But that doesn't work when you have actual players playing a character doing that. Like, well, I understand what they were trying to go for. They were trying yeah. to go for kind of an episode building kind of uh, mechanism there. Like yeah, you... it's like it's the kind of drama you'd find in an episode of Avatar. Yeah, I know, but it's still, if you're RPing, your characters should be kind of doing that anyways. Mm. But the problem is, it's also counter to it. To remove them, you have to have specific things, which may never come up for multiple episodes which leaves the player at a severe disadvantage for quite a while. And it also incenti it also incentivizes players to act really stupid to get rid of things, especially with insecure, you have to do something dumb to get rid of it. Acting foolhardy and putting everyone at risk, you're basically incentivizing players to do things they would never do that puts the entire party at risk just to get rid of a, con a condition. That's not very well thought out. I mean, I get what they're going for, but it's just... Mm. Just imagine, like, D&D, like, you have a minus two to all your rolls. The only way to solve it is to go attack the orc, orc encampment by yourself and piss them off to attack the whole village that you're in. It's like, what? No! <laughs> It's hard to figure out and balance correctly with RP, the conditions thing. Yeah. I don't think we've ever really run into a situation where the conditions exactly work exactly either. I mean, angry fit for the last thing, but there needs to be a wider variety of conditions and a, more ways to clear them. Especially with insecure, instead of just you need to find a person to talk to or do something dumb. Especially, like, I could see it like, okay, there's a situation that makes you angry. If you resolve that situation, you should be able to get rid of the angry. Or the situation that made you insecure and you overcome it, you should be able to get rid of the insecurity because you overcame it. Not that you can't do it unless you do something dumb or talk to somebody. There needs to be more ways to deal with it in the system. So you don't force players to do dumb actions that they would never do, or characters to do things that are outside of their character just to get rid of arbitrary conditions. It's kind of counter to the role-playing thing. It's weird to me. I think there needs to be more nuance with getting rid of these conditions. 
Because again, for example, like DM wise, the way I was thinking, like if I was running a system like this, okay, Tiana yelled at you, you're angry at her, she kind of insulted your ability, which makes you insecure with it, but you've managed to go through with things and learn that ability in spite of what she was saying, that insecurity can be tossed because you've overcome that insecurity or you can resolve things by talking with her and find out what's going on and make sure your friendship is okay to resolve it instead of just the two other ways. If somebody makes you angry, there are multiple ways to overcome what made you angry and resolve the situation. Each one of these, like, are you afraid of something? Well, okay, say you're afraid of ghosts, then you go into a haunted house and you're super afraid and everything and all of a sudden you meet Top Hat Ghost. Well, you're not going to be as afraid of ghosts anymore because the dude's like freaking jokester. And you suddenly learn, hey, this isn't that bad. You can get rid of your afraid instead of whatever the system arbitrarily does it. It should be more nuanced in regards to the role-playing situation itself. Like, if a situation that has come up that will make you troubled, angry, guilty, and you overcome it, that should also overcome that condition. Instead of leaving it there for... while the trigger is gone. Hmm. And overcome. If the trigger still exists, I get it. But if the trigger is gone and overcome, the condition should also be gone. Yeah. Because then in battle, because battle can cause conditions when you're out of fatigue, which doesn't make much sense, like, RP-wise, but if at that point you're going to get out of a battle and you could be stuck for session and s sessions and sessions with all these conditions that don't make any sense whatsoever because somebody punched you hard in battle. Yeah, that's, the one, that's one of the things that I find weird. It really is. Because, like, I can understand almost losing a battle and being afraid, but once you overcome the battle, you shouldn't be afraid anymore. I mean, insecurity in your own power I can see lasting a little bit until you overcome another battle or something. There needs to be more solutions we figure out for these conditions. That's what I think. Instead of just what is stated in the book, because the book is not giving enough solutions or conditions, really, to cover situations. Like, again, I don't really think Bastion should be insecure forever if he didn't talk to his parents or did something dumb. That it would basically mean I'm forced to RP. The only options I would have would be to RP him being insecure all the time, which doesn't fit at all, or him doing something really, going out and doing something really dumb and endangering people, which again doesn't fit the character at all. My options are to do dumb. So we need to figure out more solutions in the future, I think. If that's fine, because that's just my opinion as my own, like my own DMing, because it's like you shouldn't be strangling the players into that. What the, uh, the the Dungeon World playbooks have a reference to Avatar. That's funny. Okay. Yeah, conditions should be much more situational and overcome with the situation. The trigger over if you overcome the trigger, they should be gone instead of there, unless it's like an especially like traumatic trigger or something. Because essentially, Bash had already talked to Tiana about this stuff, so why should it continue onwards unless he goes? I mean, at this point, like, what would he have to do? He'd have to go like confront the freaking guild leader or like burning himself to get rid of it. That doesn't make sense. Because <laughs> then you're gonna. Because then you're going to get beaten up and get done. Nails to the guildmaster or something. Which moves the story forward in interesting ways. But the... I don't think it really moves the story forward in interesting ways, per se, when you're forcing the players to do things. Because the story is moving forward, but then the players aren't enjoying themselves because they're being forced to do stuff that their character yeah. wouldn't do. Because you're sacrificing player enjoyment for the sake of the story moving forward. That is entirely valid argument, yeah. Alright, well... It's getting late. Yeah. I don't know why I mean, I'm it's about this. 
Well, the conditions we can work on, because we were doing this, I mean, we've already agreed when we did this system, we were going to work on some of this and iron out the stuff, so it's just... And this was the main hookup before we even started the system, was these controlling the character's RP stuff. Because, I mean, you, I can RP with some of it, but you need to be able to... Especially because these conditions are more than just RP things, they are also severely restricting your actions by the minus two, which is huge in a system like this. Yeah. Minus two is a giant penalty. Yeah. And the fact that you can be stuck with it for many sessions unless you do specific weird actions is not great. So we can just iron it out later. It's not a, I mean, okay. it's not a big deal. Look out, Cat. All right, well, uh, that's gonna be it for tonight then. Uh... Alright, yeah, that's fine. I have a kitty here. I have two kitties. I gotta figure out a way to plug in my Switch if we want to play Donkey Kong tomorrow. You don't have a way to plug in your Switch? Um, I usually have it plugged into one of my extension cores, but that's being used to power these Christmas lights, and it's on the other side of the room right now. Oh. Oh. You can't, no, you can't, like, temper... Oh yeah, it's on the other side of the room, so you can't temporarily unplug it. All right, yeah. I could, I could, un I could temporarily unplug it. I guess. Yeah. yeah, we were doing that instead of East tomorrow. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We can figure out. So. All right, Donkey Kong tomorrow. Yeah, and, we're uh, and Thursday I am not streaming because we gotta get back because we gotta the worship team has to practice for our uh, service on Saturday night. I'm going to be working or trying to. I might be trying to work tomorrow, too, because I can't work Sunday or Saturday at this point now because it's going to be in the 30s. So. Alrighty. Well, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll be doing Easter Donkey Kong, I guess. So, Good night, everybody. everybody, stay well. Why did you activate the X-Files theme? That is not the perfect <laughs> Thank you, Rusty. Everybody stay well. Hope you're well. I'll see you next time. Okay, Bye. Don't go captured by aliens. <laughs> I guess. We, are, we haven't run into that at RP yet. Hmm. Night, guys. Night.